Hi, I'm Dr. Marissa Nichols. I'm the Director of Leadership and Career Development for Boston University Athletics, entering my second year and very excited about all the work that we're developing through this department. First, we are excited to launch the Bloom Family Leadership Initiative, which is a dynamic set of programs and initiatives geared specifically for our student athletes and coaches. Today, I'll provide an overview of those programs and initiatives. What guides everything that we do is a set of six core competencies or skill sets that we've identified as an athletic department to be departmental priorities for our student athletes to develop, apply, and utilize through their endeavors to enhance their experience as well as help them with their student athlete performance. To highlight some of the different programs and initiatives offered, I'll start with our Bloom Family Leadership Academy. Our Bloom Family Leadership Academy is a developmental, experiential set of curriculum for student athletes who are sophomores, juniors, and seniors who can apply and are endorsed by their coaches uh, and go through a year-long progression of curriculum. We are very excited that we have partnered with the Questrom School of Business and a wonderful set of faculty who have committed to developing and facilitating the curriculum together. And so at the table, we sit with those who have expertise in organizational behavior and leadership development and performance, team building, interpersonal and interpersonal relationships. It is our goal to create world-class curriculum for our student athletes and their development. We also have our Bloom Family Leadership Academy for coaches. This forum is an opportunity for head and assistant coaches to learn from one another, talk about emerging topics, ways they develop their leaders, how to support their culture, you name it. We also have a opportunity for assistant coaches who are emerging head coaches to go through more rigorous curriculum on how to become a head coach, whether it's budgeting their program, learning about head coaching identity, developing a support staff. We also offer keynotes for student athletes, again, highlighting some emerging topics and follow-up discussion opportunities for them to dive deeper into that content. Leadership opportunities um, also exist in the form of becoming a peer leader. So upperclassmen can help develop our underclassmen through our first year programming. Also an opportunity for freshmen to engage in as soon as they get to campus, a very targeted approach, recognizing that our student athletes go through a different transition. And so how can we meet those needs through helping them understand resources on campus, how to work through some of the pressures and stressors of being a Division I athlete, managing playing time and expectations and so forth. And no one better to learn that from than some of their upperclassmen leaders. We also have our SAC student athlete group, a wonderful set of student athletes from each team who engage in community service, wellness initiatives for the entire student athlete population, and also serving as a voice for the entire athletic department. Our Athlete Ally Chapter is one last leadership group that we offer through the National Athlete Ally Chapter, where they focus here on visibility, empowerment, education, and essentially serving as a space for LGBTQ student athletes and allies. We also offer a leadership consultation for coaches, student athletes, team captains. This is an opportunity to work with them on their effective communication skills, developing and implementing the culture that coaches help to achieve. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. Stay tuned for part two, which will go into depth about our Bloom Family Leadership Academy and part three, highlighting the Terrier Network.